So for this project, I'm going to start off by taking off the handle. After I've taken the handle off, then I will fill up an old ice cream container with some vinegar to remove the rust. After a while of waiting, I remove the shovel from the vinegar and now I'm just putting it in my vise ready to remove the rust from it. Now I'm just using my wire wheel and a drill to remove most of the rust. Unfortunately, my drill ran out of batteries, so I'm just going to have to use hand tools to do the rest of the work for quite a bit. Now I'm just removing the other rust, which I didn't remove with the wire wheel and drill. So it's starting to look better than it was. So I tried to remove the piece of plastic from the handle, the remaining handle, but the shovel came off, so that's annoying. Using lots of tools in my shop, I eventually removed the plastic bit. The bad thing is about the vinegar is that it leaves a yellow stain to the metal so I'm just wiping that off with a tissue. So it's around this time that I figured out that I bent it the wrong way so I need to bend it back. And after I have bent it the right way then I'm going to try and get the shovel together again. So I first tried to bash it together, but when that didn't work, I decided to use Gorilla Glue. One of my goals this Christmas is getting 50 subscribers, so if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It helps me to make better videos. So the downside about using Gorilla Glue is that it squeezes out a lot, so I'm just going to have to remove all the squeeze out. Now I'm just going to cut some dowels for the handle of my shovel. Now I'm just gluing the pieces together in a nice pattern. Now the pan is all glued up, I just need to wait for it to dry. After it dries, I'm just going to cut it so it uh, has a flat surface to it. Now I'm just going to bang in my spur centre. Okay, it's time to do some turning. So I just need to put my spur center in, put my piece of wood in, then tighten the tail stock down so it's all nice and tight. And then it's time to use my spindle rocking gouge and turn the square piece of wood down to round. So right now I'm just turning it down to the width that I want it to be. And uh, now I'm just turning a little decorative feature into it. After that, I'm just going to take it off my lathe and drill a hole so the shovel can fit into the handle itself. And it fell apart again, so I again use the same gorilla glue trick. And that seemed to work. Now I'm just sanding it, but then after I've sanded it, then I'm just going to round over the ends using my file and some sandpaper. After that, then I'm just going to rub on some olive oil to finish the project.
and now I'm just digging a hole to see if it works. Thank you for watching.